the ground My ears can't hear the sound of the time Reach the sky We'll fly up to the moon I know we'll be there soon Wait and see Hello everyone, I am vlogging today. I am meeting my friend CSG at Mercado. We're going to a new restaurant for me. It's called the 239 Naples. They have some organic items. I think chicken for one, so I'm hoping to try that. The weather is gorgeous. It's 69 degrees, it's sunny. We do need rain, so uh, we. I don't think we've had as much rain this winter as we normally do and this is our dry season anyway so I hope we do get some rain soon. I am wearing beige and white. The jeans are available. They are white skinny jeans. They're not skinny skinny which is why I love them. They're so comfortable. I have several pairs of these jeans. They come in both cropped and non-cropped and in a variety of colors. I'm wearing a tunic length t-shirt and a sweater over it. The sweater is, I think it's a cotton blend. I'm carrying a new handbag. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the one I talked about in my video where I was at Waterside Shops looking at the Fendi Mini Peekaboo. I ended up getting that bag that night just before the store closed. I did call my sales associate and I said I wanted it. I am very happy with my bag. I said it was optic white, but I have to take that back. Yes, it is more white than the other bag they had that was similar but it's not quite optic. It is a winter white. I don't know if you can tell, this is optic white. But it's a wonderful shade of white to go with a lot of different shades of white or ivory, and it'll work in the winter as well as the summer. I love that it has feet. This is the cellier style, which is the stitching. It's a pebbled leather, very, or I should say textured and it has gold hardware. I will put a photo here to show you the difference between my medium and my and the mini. There is a quite a big difference. But this one is with the gold hardware and my other one has the silver hardware. Well, let me show you what I have inside. It fits a good amount. I, it's small, but I do have to downsize a bit, but I still am able to fit everything I want. For instance, I can fit my salad dressing and I carry it in my toiletry pouch 15 from Louis Vuitton, which has been, I believe, discontinued, but you can get it pre-loved. I bought this about a year ago at, uh, oh, I ordered it online. I wish I'd ordered the next size up as well, but I didn't know they were going to discontinue it, so I didn't think of that. But I have my salad dressing bottle in here. It's a four ounce salad dressing uh, bottle. I make my own salad dressing, and that fit perfectly in the front pocket. I believe they considered the front with the zipper, and then in the back I have my pouch, this leather pouch, which you can get monogrammed. This is the small size. It also comes in a larger size. Let me show you the difference between it and the toiletry 15. They're very similar in terms of width, but not depth. This is 
definitely wider and this is leather I did have mine monogrammed but you don't have to have it monogrammed it comes in a variety of colors and I have it packed let me show you I have my hand sanitizer my lip brush it has a pointed end on one side and a flat end on the other and then my Chanel mirror is in here I hope I put my lip color in here I did and my lip color this is by RMS Beauty and the color is Beloved now I applied this with my lip brush that I'm I showed you here this is the one I keep in my handbag. I applied it with this brush. Uh, I lined my lips with this first and then filled in with this one. So I keep this one in my handbag and another one at my makeup table. But I would say for lip colors like this, which are, are more matte, you just need to make sure you exfoliate your lips. So I did that beforehand. And then after I applied this, I blotted it because it's so bright. And then I applied a dab, a tiny dab of purified petroleum jelly, just to give a little bit of moisture. So that's everything I have in here. Well, I have my Kleenex and I have a little bit of, uh, I keep some petroleum jelly in a little jar at the bottom. keys no my keys are in the ignition this is a key pouch but I forgot I'm using it for my credit cards cash today driver's license everything these are great because they don't take up a lot of room as I said I'm also carrying my keys and a pouch like this but it's in the ignition right now because the inside of the peekaboos is suede and I don't want to scratch the suede. I don't want to or scratch the leather of any interior of a bag. I also have my charger in case my iPhone needs a battery charge. It probably won't, but just in case when I vlog, I bring it along. You just put this in the bottom of the phone and it will keep your phone going. <laughs> so that's in my bag. And then I have my asthma medicine, which I don't use, but I carry it with me in case I ever need it. It's 1120. I think I'll start walking over there so I can get some footage of the restaurant before it fills up. So I'm going to put everything back in my bag and I will check back in a moment. So this is the pouch these keys are going into. to drop that into the front section of my handbag, like so. There they are. So I have my keys, put on my sunglasses. I think I will wear this crossbody. I love this bag crossbody. This is where our Whole Foods is, also Nordstrom Rack. And there are restaurants and shops this direction. The beach 
is that way, about a mile. And then the shopping center is, is in here. Oh, there's the 239 right there. You can see it. So let's go have a peek. See, I'm reapplying my lip color in the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm going to line the top of my lips next. Try to get closer to the light so you can see. So, I don't know, it, you can see some of the color I remained on my lips through lunch. So I'm going to finish reapplying and I will show you what it looks like afterwards. There we go, I have now lined and then filled in my lips and then I blotted it with a paper towel. So my lips look much brighter. I have these short hairs <laughs> on the top of my head that don't want to stay where I put them. Well, it says it is 69 degrees still. 69. We, we ended up moving inside. Could you tell from I'm not sure you could tell from my video of our lunches, but we did, we moved inside. It was just too cold for me. I, <laughs> you would think I would be okay in 69, but I'm not used to it. I needed a jacket. There were plenty of people sitting outside in short sleeves and not very <laughs> much on and they were fine, but I am, um, I get cold when it gets under, I don't know, 75. <laughs> They have a wonderful menu. I had organic chicken grilled without any seasoning on a beautiful bed of lettuce. Uh, we both had hot coffee. I'm not sure what her, she had a tomato soup and a salad, a side salad. Uh, it was a good size of salad though. So I'm not sure what she had. I'll have to ask her. I recommend this restaurant if you're in the North Naples area at Mercado. They really have a, a nice menu, especially if you like breakfast items, because they have a lot of egg dishes for a good amount of the day. I can't, I think it says on the menu. 
I'm headed home now. I will list everything down below in the information box. Also pin everything to the top of comments. Also, if you're not a subscriber to my blog, I hope you'll consider subscribing because my subscribers do find out firsthand when I post a new blog post or a new full video. Sometimes I might do a shorts video at YouTube that I don't post on my blog. So that's a reason to also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I did a recent shorts, but I did it horizontally and evidently you're supposed to do them vertically. So I didn't do it correctly, but I went ahead and posted it anyway. Coming up next is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.